While the Teamsters were taken to court today, authorities also moved in on organized crime in another way. CBS News law correspondent Rita Braver reports. The FBI and New Jersey State Police today arrested 22 alleged members and associates of the Genovese mob family, considered one of the country's most powerful mafia groups. The government says the case shows a unified and dangerous crime organization. It also illustrates the connection between organized crime's violent activities, including murder, and some of its more seemingly innocuous activities, such as sports and horse gambling. In particular, the Justice Department charges that some members of the Genovese family gunned down Irwin Schiff last summer in a New York restaurant, barely missing other diners. The mysterious 350-pound Schiff was said to be a con man linked to the rival Gambino family. And the indictment also charges some of the Genovese family members with conspiracy to kill the reputed head of the Gambinos, John Gotti. The murder never occurred. Those arrested today were herded into a local armory under tight security and in an unusual move arraigned there. The Justice Department says today's charges continue the government's strategy of going after the mafia family by family. Similar cases have been brought all through the Northeast, as well as in other cities across the nation. Those arrested today are allegedly part of the New Jersey branch of the Genovese Crime Syndicate. What we're saying is we've taken that group down and what occurs hereafter will determine whether or not it's been crippled or not. In fact, the Justice Department is applying that logic not only to this case, but also to the alleged mafia infiltration of the Teamsters. Justice Department officials say the only way to control the mob is to keep pounding away at it day after day. Rita Braver, CBS News, Washington.